first time my my first time um listening hearing to this song is like huh is that what is that eyes voice is that Raina's voice and it's like really high pitch and stuff but 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 it but it got to me so i so I'm used to listening to it um next song oh yes next song was Genki Pika Pika and I remembered listening to this uh to the preview of this somebody put it put it up in the hello online forums and I was really oh I was really in, I was really really into it <laughs> I put it on repeat even though it was just a radio rip um it was ripped off from uh five stars um Gakikame and and they were just playing like uh just only the first half of the song um and it was really good actually um let's play it a bit of it now dun, 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 dun. Genki Pika Pika. Um, to my understanding, I think um, their new concert uh, is gonna be kind of like um, kind of be the th uh, this song is gonna be the theme of their um, their new concert now. Um, Pika Pika. Uh, to my understanding, Pika Pika means like sparkly or shiny or kind of or something like that. It's a like a, a onomatopoeia word thing. Anyway, um, uh, speaking of the uh, concert. I looked up I looked up the good the the concert goods list where you can like buy their shirts and the um the fan and 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 um mobile straps and stuff. Um I'm looking at it now in their um official website. And um I I'm looking I'm looking at their um at the actual the actual um pika pika outfits and it's it's gold but not not good gold. It's kinda of like brass brass color but I do dig I do I do dig the um the actual overall theme of it which is pretty much sparkle and stars <laughs> and I'm looking at the fans now and they had a really good close-up on their faces with um you see, you see sparkles all over the place they, they all have like healthy smiles showing teeth and stuff only rain is not the rain is the one without um, showing any teeth <laughs> um I'm looking at and also their their shirts are pretty good as well um yeah, the, yeah, their shirts are pretty good as well. The back, I think, the back of their shirts also have like a star, with a let, with the letter of their um, first letter of their of their name. Like, Reina's um, light blue shirt has like a star, with an R in the middle of it, and so is Aika and everybody else. Like Aika with A, Junjun with J, Lin with L, and they all go with their same um, concert color as well. I, uh, uh, yeah, I goes with yellow. Gakisan with green, Eri with orange, pink Sayumi, blah blah blah. Um, their their straps looks okay, looks okay too, but uh, I wouldn't b I wouldn't bother buying the strap because I'm really bad at um, handling straps myself. They are always like getting lost or getting dirty and stuff. Um, what else? Their um their photo cards were okay too. Still, they're showing off their um what you call it their um pika pika um kasa outfits. And and they they also have like another um another out uh, another outfit is just them wearing a shirt which is uh, kind of like a navy blue a really dark navy blue um shirt with the with the gold lettering of pika pika on the on the on the front and yeah um back to the song itself it's a it's a really fun song actually <laughs> and it's really it, it it's it's so good that I actually got the um rip of it and just play it put it on repeat even I, I don't care if the song doesn't end and just keeps looping back again uh, I, I really I really thought that um, Pika Pika, uh, Genki Pika Pika should be like a PV other than um, Onagame Date Nazi Ikanai na 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 and yeah and I've, I've been harping it too like to, to all my um, Hello Online buddies like dude dude I think Pika Pika is like to should be totally a PV and stuff uh, and people are like uh, uh, I kind of like I kind of dig on the government that and I na 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 na. So anyway, um, that's all with Genki Pika Pika. Um, oh yeah, with Genki Pika Pika, uh, the parts that I like is like um, uh, I think Eri or Eri and Eri and Gaki-san like 
you can hear them actually singing. So it's not just like really poppy, but you can hear them going. Da, na, 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 na. Yeah, I ha had really nice singing to it. So that's all from Genki Pika Pika. Next song. Oh my god, next song. Um. The first, uh, the first, the first time I've heard this song was, it just, yes, it somehow, it somehow tickled my J-pop nerve in my body and just, and and just made me giggle and smile and feel happy. <laughs> anyway, this song is called Namidachi. Um, whoa, dude, I don't, I don't know how to explain this, how how this songs mean to me, but I'll just. Uh, I'll, I'll just start. I'll just start on describing this song. This song initially, at first, was I uh, had a really slow pace. Um, I, I thought it's gonna be at first another slow song. At uh, first, like oh, I didn't dig it, and then they're starting to s sing really slow. And then once you he once you actually um, hear the chorus, it was actually pretty uplifting and rock-ish. It's kind of like somebody pointed it out in the forum. It's kind of like. Kind of like Bono, like Morning Miss Mar trying to be like Bono with their um, with their chorus, but with the verses though, y'all, it's really weird. It's like first, first it's slow and then chorus. It makes nice and um, nice and upbeat, and then, and then the second verse again too slow and then upbeat again. Uh, oh God, like there 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 are parts of it that just made made me wanna sing along too. Which I don't know their lyrics, and I don't know what they mean. And there's even, uh, even though I um, harp on um, uh, Sunku giving like Aika um, rap parts in in some of the songs, but Namidachi has a rap part, believe it or not. <laughs> on top of the slow singing plus rockish upbeat chorus, and then it has a rap part. It it, it didn't go too long, not not as long as um, what you call it, uh, like do it now some rap part. Because I, I like do it now as rap part, but this one, even though it's shorter, like I can, I'm guessing that nearly everybody was rapping along too, not just Aika. <laughs> and and there's even after right after the part of the rap, there's this a uh, little um, little uh, there, there's like a couple of lines that um, Gaki san was um yelling out too, which also kind of reminds me of um, uh, what you, uh, what you call it um, Rika's part in Shabundama. Her um, spoken line dialogue part of it, so th that's what what remind me of um uh, uh, of that of Gaki's part in this song, and I I, I like I like um I like um hearing Gaki yell, like uh, you just gotta to listen to it. Um, to describe this song about how it feels, how it affects to me, it's like it gathers up all the good things that I like about J-pop and just roll it into one song. I do like slow singing, I do like rock, and I do like the bonus the the bonus style rock because when when I listen to my earphones, my my MP3 player is kind of kind of different, but I, but yeah, but it amplifies the what you call it the in, the instruments as well, so I can hear like every string being plunked and stuff. Anyway, the instrumental of it of the chorus is yeah totally Bono. I, I think I think the guy. Who arranged the song is actually did the same thing as Bono. Um, yeah, I dug that. I dug the rap part. Uh, I do dig rap, so I like the rap part. N not not like hardcore rap, like um, J-pop rap kind of thing. Um, uh, uh, and 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 what I, what I feel about the song is since it since since it um, makes me like all the songs that uh, all the parts that I like in J-pop songs. Now I'm remembering. All the good, all the good J-pop songs that I remember liking, which I can't name any of it yet, since I'm doing this review on the fly. But yeah, to today, this has got to be my favorite Money Miss Me song. I I thought it was um, Renai Revolution or um, Nanchante Renai, but this this song really topped it. So uh, this this hearing this song really um, m m made my day the first time I the first time I listened to it. Um. What what <laughs> what what got me what got me down is was the next song, which is um what you call it um the next track after Namidachi is Onagami Date Nazi Ikanai. <laughs> oh dear, I remember I remember I was pretty mean to it, so 
The first time I listened to this album, I skipped it. 